Hello and welcome to the Hans Moore YouTube channel. I'm Hans Moore and oh hold on, I forgot I was bleaching my teeth. Because I'm going to the grocery store today. I'm out on a lot of things and I need to get some stuff, some supplies. But I wanted to show you what I look like. Now today is my eighth video documenting my facelift my neck lift and my eyelid surgery. Today is seven days post-operative of all three procedures, which I underwent all at once with a very skilled board certified surgeon and it took four hours to lay on that table. And I didn't go under anesthesia, I was numbed, so I had to lay there for four hours. But anyways, if you wanna follow all eight videos of my documenting, documenting the last seven days, um, starting with six days post-operative of the six hours post-operative of the surgery, go to my playlist on this YouTube channel and you can see all the videos already compiled in a playlist. So you can turn them on and they'll all play. So you can catch up with me. So what I wanna do now, I'm gonna take off the support bandage I have to sleep in this bandage. I have to wear this bandage all day long. Sleep in it, wear it for eight weeks. I've been wearing this for seven days. Um, yeah, it gets old, it gets old. But this helps, now this strap here helps keep this part from sliding off. Um, because if you don't wear this part here, you can wear this under here you can strap it for, for extra support or when you wake up in the morning if you don't have that on this strap will just slide off like this so I'm taking off this strap these are velcro straps the doctor gives you their support systems which you need and uh, I'm gonna comb my hair oh it feels good to comb my hair yes it does so I'm going to the grocery store today. I'm out of stuff. So I put together an outfit that I want to show you. I have to be very, very careful with combing my hair because I have a lot of sutures going up here from the neck lift. So let's look at what my hair looks like. Let me pull my, let's look at what my sutures look like, my swelling and my bruising. So let me come up here real close. And this is seven days post-operative of having lower blipoplasty. Here are the sutures. They come here. They go out to here. They go here. And they come out to here. I never felt any pain with the lower blipoplasty. I mean, that was nothing. Absolutely nothing no pain whatsoever or no itching. What you see is bruising here, swelling, I'm swollen. Black, uh, kind of red here. This is swollen. I can, it's all swollen down in here. Some bruising. Seven days post-op, today's Friday, I had surgery last Friday. And again, I did not go under anesthesia. Watch all my videos and you can kind of catch up uh, with some important information. So, I'm 57 years old. I had bags under my eyes. My neck was starting to sag. There was nothing I could do about it except go under the knife or accept it. I didn't want to accept it. I didn't look. I looked in the mirror and I'm like, nope, I don't want this. I don't want a saggy neck or puffy eyes. So he had to move some fat pads. No, fat little peas. When you get older, you have these little fat fat deposits. And there's like one, two, and three under each eye. And as you get older, they start to accumulate and get bigger. And they cause constant puffy eyes. And then as you lose collagen and elastin in, in your skin, 
everything starts to sag because your skin is no more resilient. It doesn't bounce back. That's the collagen and elastin. It will happen, you know, when you get in your 50s and 60s, you definitely look in the mirror and you're like, I don't recognize this person. This is not who I feel like on the inside. So you can do something about it or you can be happy and grow old natural. Either way, good for you. <laughs> okay, so what I was doing for three years before I planned this, I wanted to say I was using this Peter Roth Thomas uh, Instant Firm Skin Tightening Cream. And I would put it I would rub a little bit under my eyes, I would rub it in, rub it in, and then I would rub it under my neck. And you could put it here on your forehead just a little bit, and then within five minutes, everything starts to tighten. And it can last up to 24 hours if you do not put any water on your face. This stuff I've been using for three years, and uh, it's $50 for a tube comes in a box like this and it works it works i wish this company would endorse me because because i definitely am telling the truth so this is fifty dollars if you you know if you can't afford plastic surgery get you some peter thomas roth instant firm temporary face tightener it works if you're going to do a photo shoot if you're going to a great party and you want to look good if you're going to your high school reunion and you just don't want to go under the knife, or you just can't afford it, or you don't believe in it, try this. Okay, now saying that, I'm going to, oh, let's look at the sutures. So in order to show you the sutures, i got to have a mirror. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to take these off. Look at the bruising here under my neck from the neck lift. It's getting better every day. Every day it's getting better. And today I took two Tylenol about four hours ago. So I'm on no pain meds at all. Um, yesterday I took a Percocet. But I think the worst part now is just the bruising and that you're trapped inside the house. But I'm not trapped inside the house. I have a costume that I'm gonna wear to the grocery store. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But what I wanna show you again is, I'm gonna come up here, I wanna show you the sutures. The sutures are here, they're coming down, they're healing very well. The sutures come way up here. This is difficult to do. Hold on. I need a, a team of people. Let's see if this works better. So there's the sutures way up there from the neck lift coming up in here. There's, oh gosh. There's sutures behind my ear. There's sutures all down through here. And let's go to the other side. Let's pull this up and see what we can do. You can see the bruising right here. This is the sutures. You can't see them because my hair is black and the sutures are black, but they're right here. All this has been cut down to here. It comes out into the hair and then down through here. And this is what bruising looks like for me, not for everybody. On day seven, post-operative of, of a facelift, which is a ritidectomy, a lower blepharoplasty, which is lower eyelid surgery, and a platissima plasty, which is a neck lift. So now I want to show you what 
I'm getting ready to go to the store. I've got to get some toothpaste. I've got to get some deodorant. I need to get some hairspray. And I got to get some uh, teeth whitening gel for my bleach trays. So I put together. So when I go out to the grocery store, you don't want to go out looking like this, like a train wreck. So let me show you what I put together to go to the grocery store today. And I'm going to look amazing. Amazing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to show you my shirt. I'm going to wear this shirt. And yes, I made this shirt. And no more wire hangers ever. Mommy dearest. So I'm going to put on my shirt. So I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. And you know, when you go to the grocery store, some people want to look really good. When I go to the grocery store, I get all dressed up. I like looking good when I go to the grocery store. So I'm going to wear my little 80s. Very 80s. If you remember the 80s, it was neon. And yes, I did pin the, I, pinned, I pinned all these glasses on there. So we're going to wear this. And then I'm going to put on this jacket. Again. Wire hangers, what are wire hangers doing hanging on these $300 dresses? I, I do hate wire hangers. Okay, I'm gonna wear this because you know I love costumes. I love costumes. Um, so I'm gonna wear my green. Oh, I'm gonna wear my green and my love, don't forget your love. Love yourself, love others. So, I'm going to aim this down just a little bit. Okay. So, I've got my green, my orange going on. And, you know, you got to wear your strap. You got to hide the stitches. So, what I did, I had an extra strap and I spray painted it orange and green. So, I'm going to pull back this. Now, this is what you wear at the grocery store when you have plastic surgery and you don't want nobody to know you had it. You just want them to think that they think you're, you just want them to think that you're fierce. Look at that. Look at the color coordination. Looking good, looking good. And I'm loving this. I can't wait to go to the grocery store. All right, so the next thing we're going to do I made this necklace with paper. It's just paper that I cut out. So I'm gonna put on my necklace. There we go. I mean, this is how you have to go to the grocery store, you know? When you have plastic surgery, you have to, you have to hide it. The next thing I wanna do, I wanna put on my mask, cause we have to hide the eyes. Oh, doesn't look at that! Look at that! We're not done yet. Next, I'm gonna put on the one thing about this is I gotta hide the straps. Yep, we're gonna put this on. Look at that. So when you go to the grocery store, you know you gotta walk up to the cashier and you gotta say, "Ma'am." Where might one go to find the teeth bleaching toothpaste and the deodorant? Because I don't have much time. My limousine is out, out in the parking lot and I gotta hurry up. We got some important things and places to go to. So, so I'm gonna wear this and then I made a necklace here to hide the bruising around my neck. How, how do we look? How am I looking? Look at that. Look at that. Then you put on your glove. You put on your other glove. And we are ready to go shopping at the grocery store. Have fun with life. You don't live long. Life is short. Have fun. Love yourself. Love others. Who cares what you look like? 
long as you love yourself and you're having a good time. So I'll see you at my next video and I might see you in the grocery store. So thank you for watching. I'm Hans Moore and I hope you enjoyed my video. Again, this is, a, this is a serious topic about plastic surgery, but I always like to inject some comedy and some fun into it. And again, if you need to go out in public, put on a costume. Have fun with life. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Hans Moore. Subscribe and like.